Cause you close. I was Wait. doing the same thing to him in the next video. Don't don't think that you're special. Oh, Hector, you special. You gotta come. come in some, Hector. I do. You said what? Oh. Hector was out in the shot. When he's leaning back. Um, uh, presidents Man. and the oh. latest. Uh, well, I don't know all of the candidates. Uh, the candidates. There are no. The there are no. No. There's no official. Yeah. There are no official. Because you got to get the first. You got to get your party nomination right. first, and there's a couple of people who have to do that. So that'll be by November of this year is when you'll find out who each party nominates yes. as far as Whip the votes. House of Cards. Have y'all watched season three yet? No, I haven't gotten to have some cards. Hey, no, that's not come here. So do you want the next president to be black? Do you want him to be I want to be a Hispanic? woman. Do you want it to be a woman? Do you think that we're ready for that? Do you think that this is ever going to happen? I, I, I want think. the next president to be gay. <laughs> As in happy? You just, you just, I'm telling you. Oh, same gender <laughs> loving. <laughs> same gender loving. That's same gender want. loving? Yes. I just want a happy you president. Do, that's you do, don't you? I would love to see a gay president in my time. Before I die, I would love to see a gay president. Why not? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you have gay CEOs everywhere, so I think a president can be gay now with this don't ask, don't tell shit. We probably have I think if someone openly gay, gay runs for president who's openly gay. gay, I think he'll win by a landslide. Well, you have a uh, Republican president hopeful, Ben Carson. Who's no. uh, He believes uh, that uh, being gay is a choice and he's openly talked about being gay as a choice although he said although he states that yeah that's him he's black. Uh, yeah he is black um, he's the black hopeful I don't I don't I'm not gonna say there there's never gonna be another black president but I don't think we're gonna see another black president after Obama like not like the next no. president after Obama oh right yeah, after. right after him I, 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 I don't, I don't think, think it's gonna be right after yeah, I, don't think I think so. that there, there it will be yeah, we yeah. have another one. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. I think it just Do you think in your up. lifetime? In my lifetime, I think there'll yeah. be a, a, his, a Hispanic president before there's another black president. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. I can see that. I yeah. think there'll be. I think there'll be another Spanish. Uh, uh, be the first a first Spanish president before black. Do we have any hopefuls that are uh, thinking of running that are Hispanic? No, not that I know of. What about female? What, I mean, what is Marco Rubio? But I, I think I think the Republicans have, have kind of pushed him on the back burner. Yeah. I thought at one point they were trying to consider Condoleezza. Really? I, I haven't heard that. I haven't never heard well, that. Well, that, that was like way last year, though. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think she wants to run. And Hillary, obviously, she hasn't announced that she was or wasn't. She's running. Well, right now she's running. But, but, but I, was say, I was like, what With her mean? email account. Because all emails supposed to be routed through something, and you're supposed to send government emails through your government right. account. She was she sending was government through, through the, her personal, personal yeah. account, and now they. But that's kind of how the Clintons roll. They kind of do, you know, they roll to the song of their own beat, and yeah, they get. I mean, they, they, they get results. Down. You know, what I mean, it's not like she broke the law per se. That's what they're looking at now to see if she broke any law. But I mean, my thing is is. We just look at the stupidest things, not realizing there's more at large. You know what I mean? Do you think that Hillary Clinton will make for the best Hillary, president? I absolutely. I mean, she ran the press. She ran the last four years of Bill's thing. He was too busy, you know, dealing with that cop stepping <laughs> scheme. <laughs> By the way, that's another question. Why is it that people say the word cock? <laughs> no, that's so ugly and nasty. Why? Said I said it on my Instagram. I said that uh, I'm not cocky, but I do have a cock. That's well, you weren't saying it like, <laughs> well, you know. I think she'll make a phenomenal person. Well, do you, is she, and, and, I, and I'm only asking because I don't follow <laughs> politics like that to really care about every specific, like I don't know Ben Carson, I don't know who he is. I just know that he was in an article talking about gay shit, so it, it sparked my interest. To me, politicians are all the same. They, they, they quote and say that they'll do different things, but at the end of the day, my life has always been the same based off of what these presidents are doing. So I spoke to Hector about the Obamacare, and that's just horseshit. Um, but at the end of the day, what will she bring to the table that will actually change your life well, as, a, you remember, as a gay Mexican? See, well, as a gay Mexican, a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I listen to 
this man here. <laughs> um, they have Mexicans in New York. You know what's the thing is this? The, <laughs> it comes down to mm. you don't need. How could you even say you're not? You're not. You're not impacted by who's the president. Of course you are. Everybody's impacted well, we're by not, who's because the president. How many people are? Happening. Maybe because not to you directly, but how many people do New you York know? New York is still happening. Do you? No, 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 no. no Trayvon no, Martin no, is still happening. No, no, so no, how no, am I no, impacted? No, 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 no. no, no, no. But we use the more. How many people do you know during the beginning of Obama towards the end of, 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 of Bush? How many people do you know that went through hard, hard times? I know plenty of people, and I mean know of personally, that have lost their jobs, lost their cars, had to take their kids out of private school and put them into public school, even though that is a leisure. These are people that we know on a daily who you don't think it's the recession, but guess what? They cut 250 positions out of that call center because what? They can't afford to pay them. They're not bringing in the revenue. Guess what? That's an impact on who you voted for, your president. That's how it impacts you directly. So now, Had you voted so the other are, guy. So those people are still working now in, in Canada, because of those Obama people, being in a... Uh, well, I, in I will have to say our economy has grown substantially because of who we put in office absolutely now he may not have delivered on all of the promises in which he promised us in the beginning eight years ago but i personally think this man has done a phenomenal job yeah living the year in the last four years alone i mean and i can only speak for what we see here in florida you know what i'm saying because we live here in florida i see m scott's going up like crazy a, 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 a company that offers free money orders that's all you can do. Let me get 20 money orders of this. They make not a fucking penny from you. But they're still able to stay afloat and grow and grow and produce. I see I see Wawa's growing like crazy. What does this this all has to do with the economy getting better? Businesses are able to to grow because they have the money, because <coughs> patrons and and, and and we are now able to buy because we're able to make the money that we are supposed to make compared to making less because that's all that's really out there at that time. So yes, as I, we are seriously impacted with who we don't vote or who we do vote into our office. And where you may not think you see it directly, you're impacted. You're definitely impacted or the ones that you have loved have been impacted. Because, I mean, I, like I said, even at my job, I can't tell you how many people lost their jobs in my company because we just can't afford it no more. Business is not the same like it was. You know, customers are not coming in every day asking for this and asking for that or asking, wanting to buy, 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 buy. Gas is getting lower. Guess what? People get to spend more. People get to spend more. Businesses get to grow. Gas is going the up economy, now, Yeah, but I mean, come on. It was almost $4 like two, three years ago. Yeah. It's only two thirty-nine here. <clears throat> More up north a little bit, it's like a dollar ninety nine, two oh four. So on the average, it's two twenty eight. So I mean, things are getting better. There was, you know, but we're highly impacted by who we. Do you feel that us. Barack? Well, let me. Do you feel that Barack Obama <laughs> has uh, really impacted your life? I mean, what he said as far as like losing my job, I lost my job last year. You know, and it was because of the Obamacare. So you had, the job I was doing was, I would, we would go out and look for people who didn't have health insurance. And so I, we were Medicare, Medicare, and it was an HMO, so we went out looking for people. Well, when they got the applications for the people that didn't have insurance, what my job was to audit the application, you know, make sure that the application matched the proof and blah, 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 blah. Well, when the Obamacare, when that came out, you had the option not to go on to the marketplace Pick out what you want. You could choose whatever company you wanted or whatever you know insurance you wanted. So then that means my job is not needed anymore. And then all the people that were on before me that went out seeking for people, you know, to to look for them to have insurance, all of them lost their jobs. So I mean, it has impacted me because it because then, like you said, negatively though. Right. Of course, because well, if right. you have, because at that if point, you visit, I've had to adjust everything. Of course, you know, I've had to adjust my living arrangements. You know, everything. Because nobody's right. buying insurance from you at this time, right? Because right. they don't have a job, they don't have the money to afford it. Was now you? your your finances are being so now where you afford a three bedroom house, beautiful ass house, 
you gotta go down to a bedroom condo because you can't afford that high ass rent no more because your, your money's just not where it's at. Right. Was your company funded by the government? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they just redirected everything. Mm hmm. So yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're highly impacted. I think voting is very important, whether you realize it or not, because there's five of us here, and if out of the five of us here, only one of us votes, because the four others think that their vote is not important, imagine how many other groups of five, and five, and five, and five, and five. By the time you realize that you have a group of 10,000 people who don't vote because they feel like their vote is not important, and guess what? It's those 10,000 from each state mm -hmm. that make that difference. Well, yeah, every, every little bit counts. Uh, and now I'll pose this question to Hector again uh, earlier today. Do you think that the minorities will vote in droves the way that they did for Barack Obama if there isn't another black or ethnic candidate in the running? Do you think that they will still go out as heavily as they did um, for Barack Obama? I think, you know, like I was discussing with us today, um, I think that the last eight years has really opened people's eyes. I do think that there has, well not think, there has been plenty of other hopefuls that were black or African American that has attempted the mm -hmm. White House, but were all unsuccessful. I think that Barack Obama was the first who was, who was intelligent, well spoken, and who knew his shit at, well, not really too much because he was only a senator for two years before he became, you know, the running. Um, but he was he he was a very good choice for the black community. Um, now having them having seen what differences he has made in the last eight years, I do think that they will continue the urgency on voting because if not, then they're gonna be resulted to what we have went through the eight years before this last eight years. You understand? So now they've seen the importance. Oh shit, we was in this recession. Right. Things was horrible. Now as a community, we went out in masses and we yeah. voted and look, we made a difference. Right. May not have been the huge difference as we wanted, but as a community, all of us voted and we made a difference together. So I now think that from here on out, they felt the impact as, like I was referring to the recession, everyone's felt the impact, they're now feeling the bounce back, and they don't want to go back to that, that fallback. Right. So what's the best way to prevent that fallback? Get out and vote. Out and vote. Yeah. Make that change if you right. want that change. If you, don't, if you don't care about change, don't vote. Guess what, we'll be back in the recession, and what? They think, well, it's not gonna make a big of a difference. It's not that serious, mm -hmm. you know? when they don't understand the importance. But like you said, I think today, with all this that has went on, you know, within these last eight years, they know now and understand some of them that didn't have that same mindset. They understand now the importance of going out and voting because they know that it could be totally opposite. It could be worse than, you know, the way it was. So, I mean, right. things are looking up. It'll get better and brighter. Of course. What are, what are your thoughts on welfare? and those who use and or misuse it? I mean, if you got it, you use it. There are those that are abusing it, but they need to be, I think that they have ways that they should be able to. What do you think about them? Like, cause I think I seen something a couple months back about them drug testing, those who are seeking like public assistance and things of that nature. That makes sense. I, I, I do too. Cause I, I, the reason why I feel a type of way about it is because I've seen Coming from someone who my mother was on public assistance at one point in time in her life or whatever, but it's not like she used it to have all these kids, blah, 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 and, and, and abusing it. No, we used it for a little bit because we, we literally progressed from being from homeless to the projects to a duplex to now a home. Mm -hmm. And you know, so you've seen that upward progression. And I think that some people, they just get so complacent and they're like, well, why? Like, what's the benefit of me getting out and working or getting out and working and getting a piece of a job mm -hmm. when I just lay up in the house and have a baby every two years or something like that and receive thousands of dollars in, you know, food stamps and cash assistance and not have to do nothing and be on Section 8. Mm -hmm. And I could be on that come up as opposed to 
Now, if I start off that way and then I go get a job, then they tell me that I don't qualify because I make too much money, but truth be told, I barely made like the, the low minimum mm -hmm. wage or whatever to make the ends meet. And then what? And I do So what's your question? Like I'm confused. Is like, your question what? should people be on it or should like like should like basically gauging everyone's thoughts as to should people be drug like number one, should they be drug tested? And you know, should there be a better system in place to where it's like, okay, you you um apply for um, public assistance, okay, well, guess what? We're gonna give you two, three years max to get your shit right. together, and right. you know, uh, and if you don't get yourself together, then you're out. You're well, out I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I'm i sorry. No, I'm sorry no, to no, cut no, you no, off. No, no. Um, I, my view is kind of like all over the place. Number one, I think home, homeless, the homeless, I, I, think, I, I think it just doesn't make sense for us to have homeless people. The amount of people that we have, the amount of money that we have in this world, the amount of resources that we have, the amount of property that we have, the amount of land that we have, there should be no reason why other human beings can't live a, a regular, kind of a normal kind of life. You have those individuals that are scatterbrained crazy, that can't function, that have been so, so addicted to drugs that they just can't, they can't do for themselves, that's fine. You have other individuals that, that choose to be homeless because that's what they that's what they want to do. And then you have those individuals that just, for whatever reason, have not been able to get a break. I mean, I don't know how many times I'm driving in my car and I see someone on the corner asking for change or whatever the case may be. So my, my stance on the whole welfare, welfare thing is that I think that it's great in a sense of just human decency. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, I don't, I don't feel that we should be like, oh, they're not doing anything, so just throw them out on the streets. But, because my mother, my mother is on, has Section 8, and she gets, you know, government assistance. She doesn't make a lot of money at all by government assistance, but she's just one of those types of individuals that, for whatever reason, can't keep a job. I don't know why. She just can't keep a job. It's always... And, and, I, and I tell her all the time, it's you, you need to figure out what the fuck is your problem. But for whatever reason, she can't keep a job. Is she a bad person? No. Is she a great mother? In, in, in a lot of ways. Um, and, and do I think that she deserves to be out on the streets? No. But when does it stop? I mean, like, she's been on Section 8 for like forever in a day. And I'm, here I am in Florida you know, struggling in my way and trying to make, you know what I'm saying, and I can't get on Section 8, so it's not, it's, 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 for me, it's just, I don't know, there's so many different levels to that, and, and I, and I believe that it should be instilled, and I'm happy that it is instilled, but I do believe that people take advantage of it, and it's not given to the mass majority that actually needs it and deserves it, um, and, and I don't know, I don't know, how do we ration that out? How do we, how do we ration that and out? I feel like you should have like a cap on something, at least like you said, two or three years, or, and then let's go back and let's re revisit. work all this stuff, let's revisit right. it again, because I know of a person personally, upstate New York, you have anything, you can get in, I can go up in New York and say I've been living there for six months, I guarantee probably emergency food stamps and some type of public assistance, because I worked. But the job I did, we worked directly with, it was the state of New York. So they were always, I mean, you see all kind of assistance for anybody. So I know someone that is currently on, you. they get a check like the 1st and the 15th or something like that, okay? Home is paid for, you get assistance with your living, you get food stamps. They have, you know, two kids. So they have no desire to work anywhere. She is just as satisfied, staying home, taking it up, <laughs> dressing her kids in their clothes where they be dressed to the T, shirt, shoes matching, take them to school, go pick them up, she stay home, she go get her nails done, get her hair done, come back home, not to go anywhere, but to sit home and watch TV all day when here I am, lost my job like you, struggling, trying to get it together, but she up there living the life, and then she go pick the kids up, come back home, she cook a good meal, because they got plenty of food in the freezer and the refrigerator because she got food stamps. Okay, at that point, I think that you need to revisit this thing. Are they assisting them, helping them find a job? Like, you know, right. come on. 
Like, right. there, should, like there should, like there should be some type of like mandate each month. You have to apply for X amount of jobs. Like they do it for here when you when you're on unemployment. Mm-hmm. I think you have to, you know, you have to because before unemployment, you can just claim your hours, be done, get off the phone. But now they have it because people were are probably abusing it. You have it now where you have to submit these jobs that you've looked for and all of that. So it should be something like that. When it comes mm-hmm. to that, I, but I know there is people out there. I'm sorry, Trey, that, that actually do need the assistance. They right. have to be on the assistance, right. and I'm grateful that we have a place, something in place that we can give that to them. Right, right. That's right. A blessing. right. I think the system needs to be overhauled. Um, it just needs to start from scratch. Um, reason I say this is because, and I'm not knocking people that are on welfare, but there are governments, state governments, city governments that take abuse um, abuse of the system also. Um, when I was back at home in Mississippi, a uh, brand new beautiful town townhouse uh, community with separate um, houses was built. Like, it was so beautiful. And I got a chance to go in one of them and it came with a wash and dryer, wood floors all the way through, stainless steel, in went upstairs. In Mississippi. Um, you know, Central heating, had a thermostat upstairs and downstairs. I went to apply for it. I'm like, I'm about to get this. This is nice. Babe, you make too much money. Like, by yourself, you only need to make like $13,000. And I'm like, what? You don't have nobody else you can put on on with you? You know, they can't make any money. I was like, well, I got my sister. Um, She don't have a job. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'm like, Oh, so right. you're just in this for the check. You right. try, y'all trying to get the check that you know you're going to get from the government. Right. So right. you can keep this community open, knowing that this is guaranteed money, when you're just going to let anybody and everybody just come in here and just turn up. And right. some of the houses, the separate houses that they had, was already going down, you know, all the type of trash and stuff outside. And I'm like, this it's not fair. It's not fair to right. people that want a good living but need assistance. Okay, can I say something about this interesting topic? Um, I do think there are some people who do take advantage of the situation, as there are people who take advantage of any situation given in front of them. It's just right. one of the situations that have the holes to be taken advantage of. Um, as far as the time frame, nah, I don't think that's fair, nor is it right. Because where you're putting a time frame on the parent, the kid still has to suffer. You understand? That's what the food stamp assistance are for. That's what these government programs are for. It's not for the mother. It's not for the father. It's for the kids. You get extra food each child you have because you need extra food for that child. But it's, and it's not. It's not. It's not the child's fault that the parents are lazy as shit and don't want to go out and get a but job. But it's assistance. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't say, I didn't say, okay. <laughs> It's not the child's fault that the parents can't get it together mm-hmm. if that's the case. Right. Which everyone seems to think that that's the case, and not all times is that the case. But I'm not saying they have to strip when you're the child. Let them go. Well, what I'm them. saying is that you have parents who are on welfare, who have, let's say, the same, the same, th- the same similarities your friend has. She, her kids are fresh to death. She goes to, she goes, she gets her hair done, her nails done. Some, some parents don't have the time to get a job because they have those kids to raise. The husband's at work, or if he's working under the table, whatever it may be, and she has to stay at home and raise three, four, and five kids by herself while her husband's at work all day making money. So why, why, why not apply for that assistance? That's what it's there for. I'm paying my tax dollars to assist you raise your kids. Right. And I'm not saying mm. that you can't. I'm not saying that you can't get What do you think you pay tax dollars for? No, but that, obviously that's a reason. Like bitch, I said, I'm not a My thing is, bitch, stop laying on your back and use that's a condom. That's the thing. Stop having all these fucking kids if you, can't, if you can't afford for these goddamn kids. Everybody wants to have sex and go out there and do their thing. But if you can't be a grown adult and take care of these 15 fucking kids that you want to keep having, <laughs> stop laying on your back and stop letting motherfuckers skeet up in you. And, 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 and that it aggravates me because I know quite a, a few people that, girl, I'm pregnant. What the fuck do you mean you're pregnant? Why are you pregnant? 
Like, are you, are you fucking serious? You, you've been whining and bitching and moaning and complaining that you can't get a job, you can't do this because you got to pay for babies, you got this, da, 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 but you want to lay down again and have another fucking child so you can continue to complain. I, 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 that just aggravates me. That aggravates no, me. Wait, no, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I don't know who he is talking about. I'm talking about no, 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 I don't know who he was talking about. It was somebody. But it is somebody in particular. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And if you watch these videos and you have at least five or more kids, please get a job. Try get a job. job. At least show this man you look at. Because that whole no. feeling and intensity no. wasn't that everybody. Was so. To pick that was this one bitch <laughs> who he know. <laughs> one, like, just one. Not at all. Oh, it's but it's if it's, it's you, one, but it's multiple people. It's, like I, 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 I met somebody like this. Somebody came to my church. This young lady came to my church. She had like a three-year-old, a two-year-old, a baby in her head, and she was like eight months pregnant. <laughs> so what, and, she what's there, wrong and she's begging the church to help her pay her rent. Wow. wow. I'm like, and they do it every week. Oh, and everybody was looking. <laughs> everybody was looking at. Like, Really? Really? Uh, You're begging for clothes for your children and you keep popping them at you keep popping them out. Keep a load Where's the daddy's clothes? Where's the daddy? Like she has multiple But when you bags. saying like, okay, this there, the kids, I don't want the kids to suffer ever, ever, ever. But like you said, this lazy ass mom, lazy ass dad, won't go get a fucking job. Try to go out and do that. But the government has crutched them, let them do it. We're gonna give it to them, and we gotta give it to them because they'll, and, the, and their mentality is, well, they know I got kids, so they're gonna pay for it. I ain't gotta work. Well, I'll you tell you this much I'd rather give, I'd rather pay, and this is just me, I'd rather pay those tax dollars and know that my tax money is being used here in America than them sending $1.8 billion to a different company to feed, you know, 500 homeless people there. How do you police that? Excuse me? How do you police that? You don't know where it's going. That's a whole other But you done said that right. Because you done said that because it's been multiple times. We send billions of dollars over there and it just disappears. Meanwhile, like, you know, meanwhile we got homeless people sitting here. Right! That's what I'm talking about, though. That's what I'm talking about. All these people out here. Some of those homeless people, I think that they they enjoy that homeless some. They don't want to be homeless, but they have gotten so comfortable being that way. Comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't. They don't really. There's no know. responsibility. It's like a baby, you know what I'm saying? Right. Nope. None. You're right. You know, right. None at all. So. Well, you know, it's funny you. that it's funny, and if you don't believe me, you can you can check on Google. Do you know a normal, a normal, an average panhandler makes anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars a day on a ten dollar shift. Listen, we're we'll sitting on the corner asking mm -hmm. for change. If they are consistent on a corner all day for 10 hours as a working man, mm -hmm. they will make anywhere between one and two hundred dollars. And so you're telling me tax free, right? Tax -free. So you're telling me I can sit on the corner and make two hundred dollars a day, five days a week. But would you want to do that? But though? you know what? Though? Let me tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this story. This guy, um, oh, same well, corner, same things every day. Does it right? include health benefits? Because if it does, well, now I'd be on the corner. <laughs> but listen, this guy, yeah. same guy, stands on the same corner every day. Stop by, and you know he's a neighborhood person. We all know him. He's always there. So okay, I shot by the window. You feel bad? You gotta put your head down. Close your, you know, your son, <laughs> son you know what to do. Why do oh, people man. do that? Oh, why? <laughs> so, everybody, <laughs> yo. I think people ah, say right. like they look at their phone, like, bitch, ain't nobody texting you. Nobody, what are you doing? Ah, it's ah, hot. It's too crazy. I was like, what are you talking about? But it's true, though, because you know you just feel uncomfortable. You know, you don't, you might not have a man. Looking, you know, shaking or whatever. So I see him. So I, okay, here, yeah, I shot him the $20. I mean, the $2. Gave him $2. I kept it moving. Later on that evening, same spot, I'm coming back through, shopping, going somewhere. He said, he was like, man, let me get, I said, I just gave you two hours early. He was like, yeah, I know, but the police came and took $150 no, from me. At that point, I'm saying, wait a minute, what the hell? So, I just gave you money earlier. You came back and I saw you again, you asked for $2, but you told me that the police just took $150 from you. So, no. man, what's up with that? That's crazy. So, my coworker showed me that. Oh shit! My coworker showed me yesterday. Mike Elps was driving down, saw a panhandler. He said, "Come here." And of course, he was recording. He said, "Can I get change for a hundred? 
man said, sure, sure. He's like, see, you don't need nothing right there. He was talking to a homeless guy. Right, hot mess. And they have money. They they have money. Hot you know? mess. But like you say, they do this every day. All I ain't got the time. Yeah. I ain't got the time. I like a nice little comfortable something <laughs> yeah. for me to lay my head on. I like the safety of, of four walls and a roof. But who's to say those people don't have an apartment? They just go out to the streets dressed as bums. There are I've seen stories and documents. They go out to the street dressed as bummy as shit. Their car is parked around the block somewhere. That's silly. Wow. They get uh, they do their panhandling. Wow. They, they probably on welfare. Can you check the mic real quick? Wow. My check, my my check, my. That's okay. silly. Wow. Sit, no, down. Sit. I saw a video on Facebook oh, about this guy who who this he gives this lady a dollar every day, and one day she he would happen to be at a different store and saw her walk and get into a car, a brand new car. And he flipped the fuck out on her and so she, they got it on camera, you saw that? He was like, I see your fucking ass on this corner tomorrow, bitch. I'm fucking you up. I give you my hard earned money every fucking day because I feel sorry for your stupid ass. He went off on her. <laughs> Goes off on wow. her. Well. But there are those people who yeah. have a normal lifestyle. That's a job. $100 a day and five days a week, that's $500 a week tax free, which is what? About $16 an hour. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it tomorrow. Well, we've talked about That's a lot right, of uh, right. great we'll have topics. A right here. Yeah. So, well, actually, the collection of videos that we've done, we talked about a lot of great topics. Um, I definitely want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Culture Club. Uh, oh, once yeah. again, go to facebook.com forward slash culture club and list or, or comment on any topics that you want us to discuss, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces. Have a good evening. Cool. That was a lot. We did a lot. I didn't even know you were recording for the whole political thing. I thought we were just talking until I saw you getting character and started living. <laughs> he said you getting character. character. You know, Wes be getting a character. What? I'm just getting a Stop hitting my little butt. Thank you. You know, you gotta smack it in order to make it good. Mm mm. Uh -huh. Not true.